Lori, who has a blue flower, was diagnosed with younger onset Alzheimer's at the age of 51 years old. She struggled with having to leave her job, which she loved. So everyone with a blue flower, please join Lori in raising it and keeping it held high. Well, I am very happy to report that the Hadley Senior Center team, um, which included our staff, um, Alex LaMarche from Hadley Media, and some other community members, had a really wonderful time at the Walk to End Alzheimer's. We also met our fundraising goal of $1,000, which I thought was outstanding, and I was kind of delighted and surprised by that. Um, I made the decision to create a team to join the walk in the summer and invited the community to take part in that. And um, I was really motivated by a couple of things. I really respect the Alzheimer's Association. They provide incredible 24-7 support to caregivers um, with a free helpline. That's fantastic. Um, they do a lot of research to find a cure for um, Alzheimer's and other dementias. And they're just a very strong organization that I felt that we could support and it would also help make visible our work in Hadley to create um, the de a dementia-friendly Hadley initiative um, that we're currently involved with with a community-based working group. Um, and our goal is to take some concrete steps to make it easier for people with dementia and their caregivers to live in Hadley. Um, and it touches many areas of life. Um, If we're holding a yellow flower, like Alicia, you're here today because you're supporting a, or caring for someone living with Alzheimer's. So everyone with a yellow flower, please join Alicia in raising it and keeping that one high. Took place, it started at and took place at Holyoke Community College, which was an excellent venue, and it seemed they had it down to a science. Um, there were motivational speakers. We started out with a Zumba warm up, which was <laughs> kind of crazy and fun. There was music, there was food, um, there were vendors um, supplying a lot of um, resources and um, information that's relevant to the cause, and um, dogs and kids, and it was. It couldn't have been more fun and I just want to encourage other community members to join the effort next year. Even if, if you can't give money and you just want to walk, I more than welcome that. today because you've lost someone to Alzheimer's or another dementia. Max's father, Miguel, who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's back in 2015. He was 90 years old. So everyone with a purple flower, please join Max in raising it and keeping that high. Hadley joined the age-friendly and dementia-friendly Massachusetts networks um, through an application process about a year ago. And for a little over a year, um, we have been, our working group has been working with a planner from the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission to create an assessment that was based on survey results about whether, or, you know, the level to which Hadley is a place that um, is easy for aging in place and that, and the level to which Hadley can provide supports for people living with dementia and their caregivers. Our, our working group is, com is composed of our staff members community member, volunteer, some volunteers, um, and members of the business community um, who have generously given their time and energy to thinking through um, the process of prioritizing action steps that we can take to um, continue to improve how we 
support people in Hadley. And how is that going so far? Well, it's going great. We're just about at the end of the process of finalizing the age and dementia friendly Hadley um, community assessment and action plan. So we've been really fortunate to have the support of the senior planner from the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, Becky Bash, um, who compiled results of the survey that was put out to the community about a year ago and um, has created this really comprehensive re report with also, but importantly, with a set of goals and action steps. And now what we're doing is taking a closer look at those goals and action steps and prioritizing them so that now the hard work of making the abstract con concrete comes into play where we decide we really want to support this project. For example, just one idea might be to increase the number of benches in public parks in the area or um, think through better access to some public bathrooms. How do we make it easier for older adults to enjoy the outdoors um, in this town? For Just for example, and how do we make it easier for people with dementia to operate, um, to interact with businesses, to be safe financially, um, to, to cross the street safely? There are so many considerations that age and dementia friendly work encompasses all areas of life. Mm -hmm. So I think, I feel like we're doing really well with the plan um, and I really look forward to rolling it out to the community and then continuing our work to make it real. So why would it be important for someone under the age of 50, under the age of 40 to really get on board with this and um, uh, be in favor of someone like this? Because age friendly communities make communities stronger for all ages. They are not, it, it's not only people 60 and older, for example, who benefit from the kind of thoughtful planning that takes place when the principles of, say, universal design or safe streets are applied to a community. It makes things better for everyone and furthermore intergenerational involvement just strengthens the feeling of camaraderie in the community. And if you're holding an orange flower, like Aaron, you're here to support the cause of the association's vision of a world without Alzheimer's and other dementia. Aaron has been advocating for people with dementia and their families for over 20 years, personally and professionally, as the director at the East Long Meadow Council on Aging. She is leading the initiative to make East Long Meadow dementia friendly. Everyone with an orange flower, please join Aaron, Ruth, and Deb and raising it and keeping that high. I feel that the principal function that is meaningful to me is that they provide ongoing constant support to caregivers who are um, facing the really, dif doing the really difficult job of caring for people um, with Alzheimer's and other dementias. Um, they also are very involved with promoting scientific research to find a cure and they can point people in the direction of clinical trials and are so not only are supporting caregivers supporting people with dementia but are working toward a cure So our involvement in the Walk to End Alzheimer's this year is we'll hope it will be you know the first of many years of participation. I plan to organize a team for the Hadley Senior Center on an annual basis. This year we felt really um, glad to be able to join up with a key club from Hopkins Academy um, for part of the walk and I would love this event to be you know more inclusive, intergenerational and to reach out to other kinds of groups in the town. maybe people involved with Parks and Rec, um, maybe different volunteer organizations. I feel like there are a lot of ways to strengthen our team and grow it next year um, because it's definitely a situation where it's the more the merrier. Mm -hmm.